arrest him and bring him to the authorities so they can charge this man with first degree murder. He committed murder. He committed a hate crime. And so since the United States, I got to say snakes government, will not do their job, even though we are supposed to be citizens, we decided to take it upon ourselves in coalition with other groups, with coalition with other black people who've had enough. But, but you say you want to hand him over to authorities. He's not been charged at this point with any crime. So under what authority would you apprehend him and hand him over to anybody? The citizen's arrest. He killed someone and he's in hiding, Anderson. Um, the police department is protecting him, Anderson. I've never heard in the history of America where one was able to kill an innocent human being and then be protected by the police. Why do you so feel... So decided to get involved. How do you say the police are protecting him, though? At this point, uh, numerous authorities, because federal and state, are investigating him. Yes. They may be investigating on the surface, but behind the scenes, they're trying to protect his life. You were asked this weekend if you were inciting violence, and you responded by saying an eye for an eye, a life for a life. Trayvon Martin's father today said, we don't believe in an eye for an eye. Aren't you directly going against the wishes of well, Trayvon Martin's family? We, we love Trayvon's father, but we are military. We're here to support that family. We're here to make them do their job. We will support Trayvon's family, Anderson, but we are military. Every nation has a military. Every nation has a defense system. So we're going to support this family, but we want the United States government to do their job. But y'all would do the job, we wouldn't be here today. But, but you are directly going against what Trayvon Martin's father says he believes in. The family does not want you involved in this. Well then, again, Anderson, you need to tell the State Department of Justice to arrest this guy. Tell the city of Sanford to arrest this guy. Tell the Attorney General Pam Bondi to arrest this guy. We believe that the government is stalling and we love Trayvon's family and we're here for them but again they have killed millions of black men and women so not only are we calling for justice for Trayvon we're talking about the millions of America have murdered but we've never had justice don't put the spotlight on the new black panther party we didn't commit the murder but let's put the spotlight back on George Zimmerman okay? you say you're okay. here for Trayvon's family though but but Trayvon's family does not want you there I mean, you're saying you're here for them. Well, you tell you, you, you tell the Justice Department, Eric Holder and our President Obama, to get off off their ass and do the work and arrest this man. Yeah. Yeah. Him with that. You say you're calling for justice for have... Trayvon Martin. Aren't you really calling for vengeance, okay. though? No, sir. We can make a citizen's arrest when the United States government will not do their job. According to the Constitution, we have that right. So again, Anderson, you cannot put the, the burden on the new Black Panther Party's bike. You must put it back in the lap of George Zimmerman, put in the lap of no good Bill Lee, put in the lap of the no good state attorney, Norm Wolf. I'm not gonna came, I'm not gonna call him finger, I'm gonna call him a wolf because all of these are wolf in sheep's clothing. But, but uh, I mean, just factually speaking, what you're saying does not make sense that under the Constitution, you can make a citizen's arrest. You, you, you can't arrest somebody. They have not been charged with anything. Um, that's still being investigated. Well, well, according to the street people's law, he has been charged with murder. According to the what? We have 40, 30,000 people out here today, according to street law, according to God's law. And I want to say I don't obey the white man's law. I don't follow the American law. The American law, the American law does not protect me, Anderson. I'm not a citizen, so I have no right to respect the American law. So we decided to crowd language to put pressure on the United Snakes, because these are snakes, government, to arrest him, because when the people find him, he may not be alive. So do your job. Do your job. Uh, Anderson, you are not so concerned, you're not so concerned about Trayvon's family. You're not worried about his pain, Anderson. Talk about his pain. Well, sir, actually, you, you have no idea what's in my mind or my heart or what I've been reporting on. You, you've been out talking to crowds, so I can tell you for several days. In fact, I've interviewed them multiple times. Uh, what I'm wondering is, aren't you just taking You're advantage of a situation to try to get in front of cameras and get your name out for your group, no, which is no, tiny? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. The new Black Panther Party has a track record of rehabbing black men, educating black people, dealing with police brutality, 
The, uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center, as you know, has labeled your, your group a hate group, and they say you're, quote, virulently racist and anti-Semitic. Okay. Do you really, do you feel that this, do you have any concerns that this will take away, your involvement will take away focus from Trayvon Martin, from his family, what they're going through, and, and the wheels of justice? Isn't this kind of a sideshow? No, sir, not at all. We are sincere in what we believe in. We're sincere in defending the rights and interests of black people all over the world. I would say this to Southern, Southern Poverty Law Center, why they don't consider the United States government anti-Semitic, anti-black, anti-red, anti-yellow. Um, the white man cannot call anybody anti-Semitic. He's not a Semitic person. He's a racist, he's a murderer, a killer. All in one time, Anderson. So don't put it on the Black Panther Party. You did this okay. weekend talk about an eye hey. for an eye, a life for a life. Is that your vision of justice? You're damn right, Anderson. You got to stop killing black people, okay? So you tell the Sanford Police Department, you tell the police departments all over America, stop killing black people, you won't have that problem. Traylon Martin's family, do, they don't want you there. They don't, they don't like what you're saying. Well, uh, and yet you seem unwilling okay. to listen to that. Uh, we represent the millions of black people that want us here today. So we love Trayvon's family, and we will continue to support them in everything we do, but we're calling for justice again. I want to say to Trayvon's family, you got to have a military. you got to have a military to defend your interests. So again, we love you, but we're going to continue to support you, regardless of the millions of white folks and the Uncle Tom Negroes. We're going to continue to stand up for this family. We're going to stand up for justice in America and throughout the world. So are you saying that they are, to use your world, um, to use your phrase, Uncle Tom, are you saying that about Trayvon Martin's family? Because they're I'm saying they don't the want Negroes you. I'm Negroes who are complaining. I didn't say them. I say the Uncle Tom Negroes who are complaining about the presence of the new Black Panther Party. But, but, but his family is complaining about Trayvon your presence. Martin's family. His family is complaining well, about your presence. Well, I sit down with them. They don't, apparently I they don't want down. to. I think it's white folks that's complaining. Okay. It's white America complaining. And I got to tell you, Anderson, we're not going any damn well today. We're not going anywhere, Anderson. So again, your divisive tactics won't work today, Anderson. You got to find another sucker, Anderson. Okay, Reverend, uh, Reverend Muhammad, I appreciate your time. You, buddy. You're not disappointing me. I, I okay, wanted to give you some time, so I appreciate that, sir. Thank you very much.